Okay, so we're now recording. Um, pursuant to Chapter 2G of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Um, members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so uh, on Zoom, um, on, via their telephones, um, or after the fact. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time by technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best, best efforts, we'll post on the Amherst Media website as well as links on the town website, an audio or video recording transcript or other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Um, so I'm calling to order the Amherst Public Art Commission meeting of uh, March 21st, 2022 to order. And I'll call everybody's name to make sure they can be heard and they can hear me. Um, Dara Wire. Yeah. Here. Uh, Sh Shoshana King. Yes. Yes. Ellen yes. Okay, great. And Bill Kazen. <clears throat> um, so today we only have three things on the agenda. Uh, public comment. Nobody from the public here, so done. Uh, chair report, which will be very, very quick. And then discussing the opening relaunching event for the um, Poetic Dialogue Sculpture. Um, so I think the only thing I should really say for chair, by way of chair report, is that last week was the first of these uh, making it public meetings. And um, it was pretty good. Uh, it, the best part of it were the, it was all on Zoom, but the best part of it were the breakout rooms where I got to socialize with people from, let's see, one of the towns was Lowell, um, another was one of the towns on the Cape. Um, I'm not going to remember all the other, but there's 10 different uh, towns that are, that have sent representatives to be involved. So um, they didn't, what, because it was the first meeting, it was mostly breakout with networking, kind of introducing yourself. Um, that alone is very valuable. I'm hoping that the other sessions where they're going to have people come in and talk more about um, uh, community outreach and hopefully, you know, more brass tacks on RFP writing, those kinds of things will, um, will happen. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but it was it was worth doing, and uh, I will report back as it progresses and bring hopefully any everything I learned back to share with you guys. So uh, it was good. So what's the official name of it again? It's, it's called making. I think it's called making. It's either making things public, uh, making things public. I think let me, or making it public. Um, it is, let me look. Uh, making it public. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, um, I guess I'll mostly let Dara uh, take the lead and fill us in. Basically, we are planning um, some kind of nice relaunch events, um, as we discussed, for the Poetic Dialogue Sculpture. And Dara's been doing a lot of planning. Um, she's got some great stuff cooking. Um, and Shona has been working with Alan Snow to figure out the plantings. So I'm mostly here to just listen and be excited and give you any help or advice that I can. Um, so yeah, take it away. Okay. Uh, Shoshana, do you want to start with the uh, stuff you had to say about the planning and stuff? Um, well, both Ellen and I met with Alan oh, like, okay. was that last week or the week before, uh, recently anyway. Um, oh, Ellen, you, you were there too. Yeah. Oh, cool. And we looked at the grounds and we, we saw what they would need to do to like restore it back to normal. It'd be like a lot of um, like re-edging, like this little path with some pebbles and, and such. Um, in order to get the funds to him so that he can execute this, um, does he need to give me a invoice? To get it, like, how are they doing the, those funds this year? Is it a, is it an invoice first, or is it a get the stuff to him first? Yeah, so I reached out to the um, the uh, Amherst Cultural Council, and we have six hundred dollars that's carrying over from last year, but the rules from last year apply, which are reimbursement okay. rules. So I did email with Robin to see if there was any way, because it's a town entity, if we couldn't somehow get them the money beforehand. She didn't, she said she didn't think so, but she would check with Holly. Um, but typically we would put the money up and they, and then the, then the, the 
this year it changed, but because that that's from the grant right. from last year, we need to get um, as far as I know up to this point. And I I emailed with Robin like Friday, Thursday, Friday, so it was pretty recently. Okay. Do we have money in our account if we need to pay out the six six hundred to them beforehand? Um, well, how quickly? So tell us more. Like, how quickly can they get to it? And is that what? what what's yeah. Hold on, my computer is doing all kinds of weird stuff right now. Like I can't see you guys at all. There's this big screen talking about. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. We can help you. Yeah, yeah we can see and hear you. Well, Ellen, what was your take on it? Um, it was great. Uh, Alan, um, I think was ready to get started whenever he, you know, had an opening, it was pretty muddy the day we went. So I think, you know, hoping for a little bit more dry, um, dry conditions, uh, we could trace, we could see the edging. Um, so we were able to see exactly sort of where it was going to go. Um, it, it creates sort of a semicircle um, from the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, Alan would have to prune, um, I forgot the name of the tree, which I should know. Um, I think it was a Japanese lilac, you said? Yes, you have a good memory, um, uh, <laughs> which has grown into the path. Um, mm -hmm. it, he said it won't damage the tree though, so that was good. Um, and yeah, the daffodils were already popping up. Um, and so, you know, I think we, it would be great this uh, spring to just really take a close look at the, the daffodils to see if we need to fill in anywhere once they're blooming. Um, but, you know, I could see them sort of scattered around. So, um, so that was positive. Um, Shoshana, since you seem to have a better memory, <laughs> what did Alan say about timing? I think you had given him like the last week of April was when we were hoping to have it done by. Is that yeah, right? yeah? And he felt confident that that could happen if he got the funds, you know, in a timely manner. To that. So, do what do you remember at least roughly? I, I mean, I feel like we had about twelve hundred in our account, didn't we? Oh, let me go into our thing and see. The um, the sculptures look great though up close. It really, yeah. you know, such a difference. Um, hopefully they'll stay that way <laughs> for for a few more years. But um, yeah, just a really nice matte black finish. So I, I was I was pleased with the result. I'd driven by them, but I hadn't gotten up close to them yet. Yeah, yeah, I came by and, and saw them when uh, Kamal was reinstalling them, and I uh, also thought they looked good. So right, I'll reach out to Holly and get a up to date um, actual balance. Uh, I was like after like that weird snafu that we had in like the fall. I'm a, like a little spooked about. <laughs> stuff so I, I like really just want to like make sure from Holly so we need to we need to be careful because um we're going to have money coming in to our yeah. account that's going to be about twenty five hundred dollars that needs to be set aside just to be used for the portal project um yeah yeah I'll talk to her about that too okay and and it but assuming we have 600 which I'm pretty sure we do um, let's get it to Alan as quickly as we can, I guess, and get him, get him working on it, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm going into town hall on Friday anyways. Okay, awesome. For um, some gallery stuff with um, with Isabella Holmstead, mm -hmm. who's got her art up in there now. Uh-huh, great. She's like having a, like a little opening on Friday. Oh, great. Oh, they're allowing that? That's good. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Yeah, we're just gonna unofficial opening. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be at three o'clock until like four. Well, I, I would hope um, because it's town money going into another town department, you know, that the controller, whoever could just transfer the funds to Alan's um, budget and hopefully it won't be a complicated thing, but yeah, yeah they may want some paperwork, you know, 
backing it up. Well, we're going to need we're going to need paperwork to get reimbursed for it from the cultural council. So there'll have to be some kind of yeah. Okay, somebody. yeah. So we need a paper trail. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, Darius, what else? Well, you sent around to everybody the outline of the plan. I don't know that I did actually. Why don't we do that right now? We, you can also share your screen. You want to share your screen or you want me to share uh, my screen and bring it up? Um, uh, it's really up to Shona and Ellen since I have it in front of me. Well, why don't you, you know, if you can, can you, can you sure. share your screen? No, yeah, just, I haven't just seen don't bother, it. Don't bother to send it right now or anything. I'll, I'll give you the final draft after we talk today. To okay. Now, okay. Okay. Because that'll oh. make it. I'll just, it's not a big thing. So I, I can go over it with y'all. Okay. So we agreed if this is still agreeable for Saturday, April 30th at 1130 a.m. to be the uh, actual event. Starting at 1130 was suggested by the Emily Dickinson Museum people because they think that's a good time for people walking around town to just stop on their way to get lunch and stuff like that. Uh, the Emily Dickinson contact, um, Brooke Steinhauser, uh, offered to find some music just to have sitting, so, uh, some kind of music. She suggested a group from Amherst College called the, their um, string quartet, but I think that might be ambitious for this spot and for these people. So I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna have an understudy ready who, who will just have an acoustic guitar or something like that. Cause we're not gonna be able to have any kind of amplification or electric stuff or anything. This is a stand up, very simple event. You know, I will have three chairs available for people who can't sit down. I mean, can't stand up you know, or something like that. But otherwise it's just come take a look, have this thing and then it's over. Um, so we'll gather the people who are in it, will gather at 11 to go through one time, just the core choreography of it. So that shouldn't be a big deal because it's three students from the Amherst High School who are putting together a fictional dialogue between Frost and Dickinson based on collaging Dickinson and Frost lines from their poems. So uh, I, the high school uh, person who's helping us with that is named uh, Chris Herland. And he identified the three students, got them to sign up. Uh, I have a donor who's gonna pay them $100 to split for that. It, no money has to come from our commission. And that will give them incentive and make them feel professional about what they're doing, which is good. And uh, yeah, and I like that, that they can feel that. And he asked me for a starter kit, <laughs> which included lots of lines from Emily Dickinson and Robert Frost to get them started. And so I created a constraint to be just first lines. And after we'd been doing just first lines for about an hour, we realized that mainly Frost was going to say, and we went to the woods. <laughs> and then we stepped into the trees. So, and I said, we well, you know that could be really great. It could be really funny. So <laughs> I let them do it if they want to do it. Well, however, because there's no, there's no rules about what they make up. It's really for them to have some fun with it. And whatever they do will be great. And they know it's supposed to be no longer than about seven minutes long. So that's actually a lot of words. So, and he's gonna have that draft of it to me on April 1st. So that's in a little over a week. So I like that, that's really good. Cause then the, the next part will be at 11.30, the music will start and that will call the audience to attention in some way for about five minutes that somebody will do something with that. And uh, the welcome will be facilitated by Bill. Thank you for saying you do that for us. And um, that'll start uh, just 
five minutes after 11.35 or so. And then uh, at 11.40, the performer writers from Amherst High School will do their, read their, and perform their dialogue. Um, uh, I'm having made for them uh, wreaths to put around their necks while they perform if they want to, but to put them on the statues at the end of their piece, just to make it have some kind of something. Anyway, um, then they finish at about, uh, oh, a, like little, you know, before noon, and then the music starts and we say thank you. And Bill says thank you. And <laughs> I think that's it. Does that sound okay to y'all? Yeah. Any, any it's suggestions? fantastic. Questions or suggestions are really helpful. <laughs> Um, no, I think it's great. I'm so glad you're, you've involved some high school students um, yeah. and that you're paying them is incredible. Artists should be paid. So I yeah. think um, I, that's just a really nice gesture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just sad because I will not be here this that weekend. Oh, so I'm afraid of, I know. And actually, um, Shoshana knows we also have a tree of possible tree event that weekend too because it's the Arbor Day celebration. So I, I, I made plans a long time ago before I realized all this, but um, I'm happy well, to get, do anything in, in preparation if, if it helps. I, don't, I think we're fine. I, you know, I'll get one of the local florists to make the wreaths. I'll probably order them this week, you know, and I'll, I'll, my, my donor I have who said they would help with this is gonna pay for that too. So we don't have to go through the commission for that. And then um, I make the, my little press is called Factory Hollow Press and we're gonna make the program. Oh, nice. And I contacted Collective Copies today and Faith who is a person who's worked there forever and has worked for us forever, worked with us forever. It gave me the timeline she needed to have the copy by and stuff to get the program printed. And the only thing I need for the program, other than what uh, Bill sent me a great bunch of pictures and PDFs of the original proposal and all the documents that Bill has at, at his, in his records. And that they're enough for me to use to write a little history in the program. And the only thing I don't have is I need a bio for the two men who were the original people in the proposal. So uh, what are their names? Um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. Michael Vrizi was the uh, conceptual. Yeah, somebody, yeah. And, and yeah, you, yeah. yeah, you see here, this, this is the picture of the original yeah. proposal. Yeah. And I'm going to use that as the cover of the program. Mm -hmm. Smaller. Very nice. And with the date and stuff. And then inside I'll have the, all the copy we need. And on the back will be reproduced an excerpt from the dialogue that the high school students write. Great. So that, that'll kind of take care of it. But I need, di I need like a sentence or two bio for those two people. Michael Veersey. Yeah, Reezy, I think. Reezy and Scott Charlin. I can see what I can come up with. I, I, yeah, I hadn't really. Um, Michael Reezy, we've been in touch with, but uh, not the other guy. So I, I can see what I can come up with. If you could do that and get that to me by April 1st, too, that'd be great. Okay, I'll make a note of it. Okay. Bill, did you have luck um, finding Michael? I, I, I did not have any luck online tracking him down anywhere really i okay I, yeah I, I thought i found a website at one point but maybe not. okay well, no that'd be see. that would be great if you did um when i started when we made the first proposal for funding right when we got rejected i that was what three years ago it was uh -huh. pre-covid so i i could not find anything on him but you may have found something or he may have appeared <laughs> online yeah. since so that that's great i mean it seems like it'd be good to invite them of course come, even if they can't come for some reason i'll see what i can do 
and uh, and I, I, that's what I wanted to ask you all too. Like, will the commission, as a body, be able to send out some kind of invites to the appropriate people? I think by, we, email, by e like email invites. So, so what will happen, we, what we need to do is do a press release that'll go out to, through the town. And the sooner we can get that, the, the better. In fact, you know, I haven't even let the town manager know that this is coming up. So in fact, we should do that right away. Um, let Angela know, and then you know, through her, the town manager, and just get the word okay. out. Um, okay. Let the council counselors know. Um, yeah, so that is because it's not that it's not that far off. So now is oh. a good time in the next week or two to be getting the word out. The Amherst, the, the Emily Dickinson Museum said they'd promote it too. So oh, the same press release can go to them. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, Bill, do you want to write the release so it'll be worded like a commission release would be worded, or do you want to send me a sample? Yeah, I mean, I can draft something and send it to you. We can just both, it doesn't have to be very long, it's a paragraph or something. Um, yeah, okay. Well, if, if you, you can do that as soon as you can, I'll get it right away back to you. Okay. Okay. I'm happy to edit anything. Okay. Well, we can CC you on what's going on. Bill can CC you on what's going on. Is that okay? Sure. Open meeting, open meeting law creates issues, so. Oh, okay. I mean, you can... You can, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you could comment, but we can't discuss. So uh, in other words, you could you can mark up, if, if it's more than two of us, people can mark up a document and send it, but there can't be back and forth. Um, so you could you could look at it, but I don't think it's, it's it, I think we'll be fine. Okay. That's a funny, funny rule, you know? It's ridiculous, but, you know. <laughs> it's amazing, really. I, yeah. I hadn't even thought of it as a possibility until you told me about it. Yeah. But we can talk freely in a meeting like this. Yeah. That's why, yeah, we all have to, but because this is a public meeting. So, yeah. so it was announced 48 hours. So anybody from the public who wanted to could part to show up and listen. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So that, yeah. I mean, that's another thing is we may be able to start meeting in person again. I forgot to ask Angela. Um, so for our future meetings, we can think about that. Yeah, I just checked the Amherst Farmers Market starts outside on in April, so there should be, if it's a beautiful day, there should be a lot of people in town that on that Saturday. Yeah, so if, that'll if be nice. Pretty, yeah, and if not, I'll bring all the umbrellas I have. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it, I mean it sounds like you, you planned a really special event. I mean this is going to be you know great. Uh, I'm I'm excited. I think it'll be short and sweet, I hope. <laughs> and I have, uh, some, I have some people who promise to come and be in the audience. <laughs> no, well, yeah. High school kids should attract their, their friends should come too, hopefully. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. John, what, what are your thoughts? I, it sounds like a great event. I can't wait. Yeah. I'll have to squeeze it in in between uh, tree duties. <laughs> what's the tree what's the tree stuff that you have to do uh we're hoping to have like a booth at the farmer's market and um give away tree saplings we do it every year usually it's usually at the sustainability festival though but that is kaput so um last year we did it at the farmer's market instead mm -hmm. i have one question that i forgot to ask so this program we're going to have printed up about i think 50 copies is plenty yeah yeah i think so okay great i mean it could i mean if we get a dozen people that's great i'd like to have a copy too to give to the jones library they have a whole folder on poetic dialogue and this should that that should be added to it the, okay. the brochure just okay. for the history of the yeah. of the piece yeah what, what 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 is the what did the restoration of the piece consist of it was the the two sculptures were very um they had a, a lot of rust on them uh -huh. so um there was some damage and graffiti some spray paint not graffiti but some spray paint um they just did not look great I, I, we have some photos I have them on my work computer, I think, not here, have, but. Somebody went and took a bunch of pictures of it for me the other day, and 
the pictures look okay. I mean, the space looked good, you know? So it was good. Yeah, it's a big improvement. Uh, Dara had mentioned to me that she heard that the sculptures were stolen or part of the sculptures were stolen at one point, but I thought that maybe that was getting confused with the, um, the rabbit sculpture that, that I knew I know was stolen. Ellen, did you mean to share your computer? Yeah, I'm showing yeah. the photo here. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, just a lot of um, water damage, it looks like. Um, this is the Emily sculpture. Um, and I think I have, do I have Robert? Yeah, there you can see how badly rusted it uh -huh. was. It looks, looks like new now. Looks like what? It looks like it looks new now. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it looks, I'm realizing here, because this was in bright sunlight, it looked very gray too. Yeah. Like now it's a nice deep black. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. So who should so Kamal obviously is somebody we need to invite. Who else do we need to and and uh, Brooke and and Jane, um, Emily Dickinson. Uh, who else do we need to invite? I think is you. There, the, is there an Emily Dickinson Society? I think there is. <coughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, I think you're right, Bill. The. Um, the town councilors, um, Paul Bachelman. Um, oh, the people, I, I'm sorry, I don't know them, at the Historical Society that have a lot of Dickinson material there at the Strong House. Um, I would also invite Cindy Harbor. I have to look Harbison. her name up. Yep. Harbison. She helped me do a lot of the research on the piece originally. Okay. Um, at the Jones Library. Um, so some of these people we'd actually want to thank. Um, it, it, so that would go beyond just inviting them. So both invite. So that's good to, as I'm putting my thing together, um, we can review. Um, but, you know, it, so. Yeah, that definite. De yeah, please thank Cindy. Um, and also Jane Wald wrote a letter of support for us. Um, and I think also the DPW and Alan Snow, because they're uh, providing the labor to re-gravel. So they, they should be thanked. So Members, the cultural council, of course, yes. <laughs> number one. And Alan, Alan is spelled A-L-A-N. It's not like Alan, it's a, like Alan. <laughs> Just yeah. The so, and are you just making a distinction between who we thank in the program and who Bill thanks in his comments at the event? We'll have to figure that out, I guess. But they might probably be the same, I would think. Yeah, no? I imagine that's a big overlap right there. Well, I think it would be, except if people, I, I don't know, you, you'll know what to do. Just make sure I have the copy that I need to have you know, around April 1st. Okay. And Kamal, I mean, he was, yeah. he, I mean, we paid him, but he should be acknowledged at least. Yeah. Who's that? He's the restorer. Oh, okay. Who, who fixed them up. Okay. Um, trying to think if there's anybody else. I, should I make a note, a special note of that person as the res restoration, you know? Of I the, think so. Yeah. So then that, that's what I need is notes. I need notes like that with the full yeah. names and stuff like that because I don't know the people. Yeah, I'm, I'm making notes here. I'll pass them along to you. Great, but thank that, you. Any, who else? Anybody else I have? Here's what I have on my list right now. Kamal Peters, Jane Wald, Brooke. Uh, what's your last name? Steinheiser. 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 Um, town councilors. That's that's a separate list. Uh, town manager, separate list. The cultural council, the, the Amherst cult cultural council. Yeah. They should have their logo on the brochure, and they should get thanked um, yeah. in the speech too. Yeah. So 
So I just need to get a logo from, we probably have one, right, Bill, for, for them? Uh, I don't know. You could probably just get it on the internet. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, DPW, Alan Snow. Did Alan Snow, he's not, he's separate. He's not in, he's not, a, he's not DPW. He's his own thing, isn't he? He's the tree warden and grounds and uh, what's the other word that goes with that? Um, Does he work under Guilford? Is he, is he, is, is, is he DPW? He is, but he's also the town arborist. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know exactly how the hierarchy between Maureen and him is. So I think Amherst Cultural Council just uses the Mass Cultural Council um, logo, which provides them the money. So I think that's the logo we can use. Let me see if I can copy it right now. Copy image. Do you want me to try to get in touch with somebody on the Amherst Cultural Council and see if they have something? You can ask, sure. I mean, if you're sure, I don't want to bother to ask, but if... <laughs> It's pretty blurry. I got to find a better one. Well, I also don't know that we have to have a logo for them. We could, they could just be listed in the thank yous. I mean, this is just um, a... There, I don't know. A lot of times, like, when you're actually applying for the grant, there's, like, warnings about, like, you know... Yeah, that's a it usually is a requirement. Uh, here, yeah. I found some... Um, Dara, if you just do Mass Cultural Council logo under Google um, and just go to images, there are a lot in there. Okay. And you can just copy and paste. Okay. Um, we could check the, um, I know we like at the museum have to use the logo when they well, fund it's so, it, we'll, we'll, we'll make the logo work. It's, it's well, they're, not, they're not funding the brochure. No, no, but it's funded project. project. <laughs> project. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, do your best. I mean, we, we can we can reach out to them. I, I mean, I email with them on a regular basis. So uh, that's all I have for now. So if anybody thinks of anybody else who should be added to that list, either of invitees, thank yous spoken, or thank yous written, or both. Um, let it, let me know or and or Dara in the next couple of days. Okay. Yeah. And I, it's probably okay to put on a, like invite it in terms of like the press release and inviting everybody just to make it known that the commission is doing this. Of course. We were talking about, yeah. Does the commission have a logo? No, that's been an ongoing. Yeah. It's been an ongoing discussion that sort of trickled along and been laid down. And I keep saying we should pick it back up, but we do not. So yeah. rebranding. It's it sort of keeps getting kicked down the the agenda from month to month. But um, it is something that we could. I would be happy to see us discuss again in the future, near future. Well, probably if you're going to start getting a serious amount of money from that percentage building thing that passed, you're going to have to have a lot of more professional stuff. Yeah. Because you know? the accountability from the people who see all that money is going to be big. Yeah. I don't know if that money will go to any kind of marketing or things like that, but it'd be nice if it did. Um, anyway. Well, I don't know. So the town seems like the town's going to need to. If your if your commission's getting a significant amount of money, that's a big deal. Yep. It's great too, but it's also like a lot of responsibility. Yeah. Yep. Do you think it's going to happen? What do you mean? It's already happened. Do, do I think what's going to happen? That the the thing you talked about about the town council passing that percentage of a building amount of money certain amount of money has to go for public art work it's passed it passed 
so when will you when will you first see the money? Well, the first project that we may see the money for is the North Common. I'm still waiting to hear. The school but school project budget has has ballooned to a hundred million dollars now. Um, I, I I almost guarantee that the percent for art, well, which is really half a percent, will not be half a percent. We'll be lucky if we get a quarter of a percent or a tenth of a percent, but that'll still be a pretty large chunk of money, especially on a hundred thousand a uh, hundred million dollar project. So yeah, uh, people are people are very um, uh, I don't know what the right word is nervous right now about that number it's a very big number so you know they're, they're looking to find savings wherever they can and certainly dialing down hopefully not turning all the way off the percent for art is uh is something that's already being discussed so we have to we have to advocate that it not be turned off completely um mm -hmm. i don't think the time is yet i think people are just getting their heads around that 100 million number um, and whether or not that's hard and fast at this point, um, but there's been just massive budget escalation because of just general construction cost escalation in the last couple of years. And the last estimate they had gotten is already three, four years old. So um, we went from a project of, I don't remember what the original numbers were, but you know, 40, 60, and now 100 million. So it's a lot. Yeah. And you know who's going to pay for that is. The taxpayers because it's going right. to be an over it's going to be an override so yeah mm -hmm. so okay anything anybody wants me to be concerned about as i try to finish up the details of this thank you all for all the good ideas yeah. <laughs> thank you um yeah i think we have you know i have a few jobs to do i will get on those um, Shona, you'll 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 figure out the money stuff and, and get Alan the money and get get him so to let him know that the you know we really would like to have this done. It's it's going to be April thirtieth, uh, so you know before April thirtieth. Yep. Um, when so our today's the twenty first. Um, should we try to meet again on the fourth or no later than the eleventh? I think um, in terms of just making sure everything all our ducks are in a row for this does that make sense sure the 11th either the fourth or the 11th what do you guys think i think the 11th maybe the 11th okay yeah so work tentatively for people this yeah. time the 11th? yeah okay i will um i'll see, see if i can book that with angela Um, and I know Shona, you know, I, I was, I know I need to get the um, RFP for the portal to you, but I'm holding off a little bit because I'm hoping that um, this seminar that I'm in, this making it public seminar will address some of those questions, I some questions I have about that. Um, okay. So once, once I see if it will or not, I will, um, I'll get to work on that and I'll share that with you. Okay. I don't think there was much else. That was sort of hot topic, um, not anticipated 48 hours in advance. Anybody else have anything? I was just wondering if the um, Sunrise, Amherst Sunrise group had come back with anything. No. No. Um, I learned a lot about Sunrise. <laughs> As yeah, because yeah, I, I, I had vaguely heard about it, but I didn't really know. So I, it was fun to read about it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I assume they will come back at some point. Um, it took them a little while to get back to me the first time around. So okay. as soon as I hear from them, we're, you know, I will let you all know. All right, thank you all. Thank and you. Especially Sounds Dara. Good. Yeah, oh, Dara, can you type up minutes? Real, you know, yeah. Some, yeah, okay, great. And what do I do, send them to you? Uh, send them to Jim. Send them to Jim, okay. Yeah. And I'll just send us a little summary of who's doing what. Great. Okay. okay. All Thank right, you. bye everybody. Thank okay. you. Bye. Thank you.